It is May 7th and it is game time. I got a lot of things to get done. And one of the ways I'm gonna start doing that is to work on my to-do list. So every morning I walk into the office, I've either started my to-do list or I started as soon as I walk in the door. So first things first, fire up notes. I don't know how you do it. Sometimes you write it down. Sometimes you type it into your phone. Sometimes you, you, you use all these programs to sort your life out. But I found that notes works best for me. It's on my phone, it's on my computer, it's on my iPad, and it just kind of all syncs up together, which makes my life a heck of a lot easier. Do, 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 let's go. First things first, this is a beast. Clear inbox. I like to do it, I try and do it every morning, which makes my uh, head space a little bit clearer. So I feel like I've got everything off my plate and now it's on somebody else's plate before it comes back. It just feels good when they're all out of there. Okay, so clearing inbox. What I used to do is when it was finished, I would literally just delete it. We don't do that anymore. We use this little magical little tick box down, or this little tick, boop. Now it turns it into a tickable item and it just gives a little sense of like accomplishment every time you do that little tick, boop, boop, boop. But we got a lot to do and we haven't accomplished anything yet other than start recording this. We'll go record, do, record, podcast, boom. We've also got a shred, docs, great. Shredding just feels so good. And I'm not gonna bore you with this, I'll just, I'll come back. Yeah, easy, take that one off. Oh my goodness, learn to spell just. Consume content. And sometimes that changes. Could be an hour, could be 30 minutes, could be five minutes, could be zero. Today, we'll just do it at 30, and I'm also gonna make sure I take a break. And my favorite part of any day is to make sure that I call five people, five people. And last but not least, pat self on back for a great day. I think more often than not, we just naturally push the goalposts out. So you might've accomplished a lot today, but you go, ooh, I could've accomplished just a little bit more. I am guilty of that pretty much every day of my life. I feel like I could always just do a little, a little, little bit more. Um, but what I'm starting to realize is that's not healthy. So we're gonna throw on the brakes on that one and just appreciate what you were able to get accomplished today and move forward. You ready to get started? Yeah. Ooh, yeah we are. Let's go. Okay, we have some really big files that we need to get over to a client, but they don't fit in a normal email. So the best way to do that is use something like WeTransfer, which is what I use, and you can send humongo files to whomever you want, and then you know when the people downloaded them. Great. Ooh, that's a good email. We are moving offices just down the road to a place called the Huckle Tree. Just got the word. New place for phone. Do you cut your sandwich like this? Or do you cut your sandwich like this? Or do you cut your sandwich like that? Woo! Today, we're just gonna cut it like that. Curveball. Just received an email with some high res images from our book binder from a recent trip that I was on. And I'm gonna store them away in the RAID server, which is great, so they're always safe. But one thing that I always wanna make sure for my clients is that I have samples to share really easily. So I'm gonna go into Smug Mug and put them into our travel books folder, which is right here. And we're gonna upload the new books, which are from Rio Carnival. And it's that final, final take of the day. Pat self on back. I will not be pushing out the goalposts today. It's a wrap, it's game over. I've had a marvelous day. Hope you have. And uh, pick up the phone, call your friends. I'm out of here, catch you later. Keys, see ya.